Welcome back to the PI Planning Cooking Show. Finally, we get there, PI Planning itself. Yay! I can hear you all screaming and screaming, and I bet your teams are too. Welcome to the PI Planning Cooking Show with Shane Harrison. Now today, we're gonna to go through the very first step of PI Planning which is the business context. But before we do that, I wanna give you a few tips for your PI planning. Number one, you want everybody as close up to the front of the room as you can. And there are little tricks for doing that. For example, take all the seats at the back of the away so people can only sit at the front. Actively get your scrum masters and people pushing people towards the front. You want the person who's speaking to feel like they have an attentive audience. So it's really important to get the people up front. Also, start to play music. Something energetic, something that will keep people awake and make them alive. Remember, it could be as early as eight o'clock in the morning, or for some people, if you're doing remote planning, it could be much, much earlier than that. Play some music, give some energy into the room. And when you're going up to introduce the person, show some pizzazz, show some energy then as well, you know, move quickly, put some energy and some emotion into your voice. We're going to welcome today John Smith from Production Operations. He is going to tell us how much value, how much benefit his organization is getting from our products. So here we are, without any further ado, John Smith, right? So you want to really do that professional MC thing. It will bring people's attention, it'll energize them, and I can't emphasize enough the value of that music because it would really energize the room. You, uh, there's a dozens of whatever you want, rock and roll, something that get people attention. So now let's move on a little bit into the meat, of pota meat and potatoes, sorry about that, of the actual presentation itself. So in SAFE, in the guidebook, they say an hour. Please, please don't take an hour for the business presentation, even if it's the first one. Or if you do, just don't invite me because I do not want to sit there for an hour. If you can't get your core messages across in 20 to 25 minutes, you need to go back and start again. You need to restructure that presentation. And this is the guidance you need to give to your business people. You've got 24 minutes to speak. We're gonna have five or six minutes of questions, maybe a bit longer, but when you're speaking, be aware that you need to change topics about every six to eight minutes. For people to pay attention, you need to be actually moving the content of the presentation along. People get bored. After about eight to 15 minutes, they're gonna to start to disconnect. So you need to make sure when the business person is presenting, maybe he does eight to 10 minutes setting up what the business is, then does eight to 10 minutes talking about how valuable you are to that business and the benefits of what's going on. In the very last few minutes, you should talk about how important the work you are about to do, that the teams are about to do, and you should be explicit about the things they're looking for and how valuable those things are. So I'll just repeat that. So let's say he's got 24 minutes. First six to eight minutes, introduce himself, his organization, and his business. The next six to eight minutes, he needs to talk about what the future is and where they're going, and especially talk about the benefits they have already received from the work already done by your arts. We are now able to do this. We're now to enter this, able to enter this market. We're now to able to expand in this area because of what you did for us. Thank you for that. Then the last six to eight minutes is really about what we need from you from the future, and in particular, focusing on the things that are coming in this PI or the next one, especially this PI, because then you're going to get inside the minds of the people working and they will feel good about what they've achieved so far, the benefits to the organization. They'll feel good about the benefits that they've already given to the organization and they'll feel motivated to give more and to focus on those features, focus on the business value, focus on those objectives. So that's what you need to do when you're setting up for that business session. Please make sure you brief your business people. Do not let them come in with a standard stock introduction to blah, blah. You will hear snoring in the room and don't 
let it go over 25 to 30 minutes, including questions, because people will disconnect. And it's not because they don't care, it's not because they don't like it, it's how our brains function that we can only pay attention for 12 to 15 minutes, normally in the six to eight range, but that, that's about it. But if you change topics, like I just advised, you'll be able to keep their attention. So if you keep the same topic for 30 minutes, they'll get bored. But if you go over three topics or three different areas of emphasis, you will keep their attention. So give your business people good advice and they'll do an excellent job for you. Keep it nice and short and spicy. And as you transition to the next person, which is we're talking about product management, which we'll talk on the next episode, as you talk, go into that transition, don't forget, you're gonna do that energy again. So thanks for watching the PI Planning Cooking Show. That's another episode done. Good luck with your cooking of your PI Planning. We'll see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell because you want to know every time we speak, right? Because it's just so fascinating. So thanks again. I would like to remind you about our new show, our interview show, which is a great deal of fun to do and very insightful. So watch those, that's Agile in the Zone. It's on the Rentouch channel as well. It's great, thanks again, have a great week. Talk to you next week, bye. That's the PI Planning Cooking Show with Shane Harrison.